Farah Hanoun for MMA Junkie, and I'm joined by UFC featherweight Josh Emmett, who's coming off a big win over Shane Burgos, but of course, some unfortunate news for you uh, as well. You suffered a full ACL tear and an array of other knee injuries. First of all, tell us, how are you doing, Josh? Um, I'm, I'm doing okay, you know, for the, given the circumstances, uh, I, I'm, I'm fine, you know, I, I, I'm really fine. I'm just, besides this, this stupid knee, you know, if it wasn't for that, I, I could fight this weekend. Did you imagine that it would be that bad? Like, I know maybe the adrenaline is pumping in the middle of the fight and stuff, but afterwards, did you imagine that it would be a full ACL tear and, and, and those knee, knee injuries as well? Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was so painful. Like, and I know people say adrenaline, but it was so painful and, and it had no stability and my knee kept buckling and giving out. And I have a super high pain tolerance but I knew something was like seriously wrong and it was the outside. And, and, and that's what I was saying in the interviews. I said, I blew out my ACL. I even told my, my coach, Danny, when he came into the corner, I was like, man, I blew out my ACL, you know? And he's like, I, I, I see that. Um, you know, I, I was hoping for the best. I was like, man, hopefully I just like, you know, it's partially tore and, and it could possibly be repaired. But, um, you know, with, with my luck, it was like, if, if you tear it on the top of the ACL, then a lot of times they can repair it. The worst is to do it right in the center. Mine snapped in half in the center. And, you know, I, then I also had a lot of other stuff like sprain my LCL. I, I have partial tears in my MCL. I, when my ACL snapped, my tibia and my femur hit so hard together that I fractured my femur i fractured my tibia and i took a huge dent out of the the cartilage between my tibia and and femur and, and then i have a, a baker cyst that completely ruptured behind the knee so it just uh i have a it's actually worse than i thought but but i knew it would be bad um uh, just from what i was dealing with and i've never i've never felt anything like that and, and at that moment uh, when it happened it was it was actually 17 seconds into the fight I, I was saying a minute, but I watched the fight. I did it to myself. It was 17 seconds into the first round. And I I, I, I feel like literally most people would have just quit right then. And, and it would have been okay coming out with the injuries. Um, no one would have said anything or people would have looked for a way out. But again and again, I say, I will never do that. You literally have to put me out for me to quit. And, and I've showed that, you know, with like compound fractures, I've had several injuries. It's just, yeah, I'll, I'll never cower away from anything like that. I know it's not a question and you would have never quit, but you feel like the rest of those knee injuries, it kind of just got worse throughout the fight because like I said, it happened so early in the fight, uh, 17 seconds in. Do you think because you persisted with the fight that it, it, it kind of like those injuries piled up the rest of them? I'm not sure really that, but that's a good question. I think I'll, uh, I've been working with Heather at the performance Institute every day, uh, multiple times a day. So I'm actually going back. I was just there this morning at eight. I'm going back at four o'clock. So I'm going to, I'm going to ask her. So I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Um, but yeah, I just decided to stay out in Vegas and I'm just doing as much rehab as possible just because I, I want to do do this for the next few weeks get, uh, for one, get the swelling out, get my muscles uh, strengthened again and start firing again. And then, you know, there are those lucky individuals. There's, there's only a few of them uh, or a handful of them, but I don't know, may, maybe I, as crazy as it sounds, won't need the surgery or I can at least try, you know, cause there are athletes, there's been Olympians that, and fighters that have no ACLs and, and they do, they do just fine. So, I'm hoping possibly that could be me, but otherwise, if not, I'll, I'll get the surgery in like three, four weeks and, and do a full um, reconstruction and, and do some other um, some other procedures as well. So is it going to take those three, four weeks for you to know how to proceed uh, with your recovery and your rehab? No, I don't think so. I, this is just talking with... Um, just certain people that have had the injuries and, and, and me talking with uh, the Performance Institute, but the, but the UFC is on board. They already have me all dialed in. They're like, we can get you into surgery right away. But I just know from previous injuries, I, I know it is good to go into surgery uh, with, you know, a little less swelling and um, 
to be somewhat strong for it because then then I'll be able to recover faster. Like if I were going to go into surgery tomorrow, my knees blown up, my my ankle, my shin. It's uh, I I personally just don't think it's the best, and I've heard from other people. It, it's a it's a mixed mixed opinions, you know. And these are from experts and stuff. People will say one thing to the next, but just from my I've had a lot of surgeries, and I feel best when I go into them with no swelling, and and I feel somewhat um, just a little stronger than than just injuring it and going right into surgery. So that's that's my take on it, my opinion. That's that's what I want to do. And it's not going to delay the process at all anyways. Is this your first kind of knee injury? No. I, uh, in college, I, I messed up my MCL pretty bad. Um, it, was, it was so stretched that it almost completely ruptured my MCL. Um, and I, I, I tore my meniscus in the, in the knee. And it just took a while to come back. But I actually did not have the surgery um, with that and, and i had surgeons and everything saying like oh let's get the surgery uh, done and i and i didn't do it and you know it, it healed on its own and i was thankful for that but so so we'll kind of see what happens with this uh same same knee uh yes same. Uh, and is it too early to to be able to tell the time frame for for recovery and when you'll be able to, to train or or even target coming back is it too early for all that I, I think so, but everyone's different. You know, typical ACL people say nine to 12 months. Um, but we also see, look at T Tony Ferguson. He had a complete tear, uh, ACL, and, and a ton of other things going on. He did a reconstruction, and he fought like four and a half or five months after the surgery. So I think everyone's different. I think with my, my diet and how dedicated I'll be during rehab, they say nine to 12 months, but that's on a, a – ordinary person and <laughs> like i guarantee i'll beat that you know i i could see myself fighting you know five to seven months or something like I'll, i'll beat whatever the time frame is i heal fast and i'll be more motivated i'll be more dedicated uh you know i have so much discipline that i'll i'll strive to to beat that time frame and let's talk about your performance you didn't seem too happy about it uh looking back now would you give yourself a little bit more credit for it uh i guess not not well it, it, it was a good fight but i i think i was just that night i was i was so pissed about more than me just because i keep having these long layoffs you know i was i was out 13 months i came back i won two fights had the momentum going going and then i was out another almost 11 months i <laughs> i won the other night and then then it turns out You know, I could be out another nine months. I'm like, man, it's just, it's frustrating. And I, was, I was so pissed about the knee. Um, but I, I guess, yeah, my performance, it, it turned into be a, uh, it was a good fight, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. You know, I, I wanted to go out there and I, I was going to really show uh, a different part of my, my game that I haven't showed to the fans and everything. But I felt like I went in there and kind of did the same thing that I, that I always do, or they, they think I'm going to do. Um, but I did it on one leg. I wasn't, I wasn't able to sit down on my punches and throw um, as hard as I could because my knee kept giving out. Like anytime I would lean to my left, uh, if I was going to go like an uppercut or I was going to go, you know, throw a liver shot, uh, my knee would buckle. So I stopped doing that. Um, I couldn't really kick with my right leg because I'd put all the pressure on my left leg and my knee would give out. I couldn't use my lateral movement like I typically do, or I couldn't implement any type of, you know, takedowns and things like that. So I, so I did just start kicking with my left leg because, you know, that, that wasn't bothering me really at the time. And I, and I could plant on the right leg, but you know, people are like, Oh, he took some hard shots, but I was not throwing those with a hundred percent like power because I, I, I couldn't, you know? Um, so yeah, no, I, I'm happy with the win of course, because this would have been, that much worse if I lost and then I got this but that's the first thing that went through my head as soon as my my knee gave out I was just like man I was like I'm not going home with one check like I'm gonna you know I have 14 and a half minutes left I'm gonna bite down on my mouthpiece and and I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this out and and I'll be happy with getting a win even though I just had to make some adjustments and and overcome adversity once again but I I did not get to 
you know, show, show my, my game or what I wanted to do. I just wanted to go out there and, and just completely outclass him and, and make it look easy. And, um, since I got injured, it, it turned into quite, quite the fight, but I, but I'm happy with it. And, and that was the first time Dana White has ever seen me fight live. And I guess he, he was, you know, jumping out of his chair and clapping his hands and, and, I knew once he saw me fight live because it's completely different than seeing it on TV. I knew I'd make a fan out of him. And, and I think that I did that night and he, you know, he came up to me after the fight and congratulated me and all this stuff. So I, I, I was, you know, I'm, I'm happy for that because those are the type of fights that I know he likes to, to see and, and the fans do too. But, um, I, I still just, I think if I had two legs, I, I really don't think Shane gets out of the first or the second round, you know, uh, maybe the first, I don't think he gets out of the second round, but he's, he's a tough, tough competitor. And that's exactly the fight that I was prepared for. And he's, uh, he, he's going to do super well in the future. He's already done really well in, in, in a short amount of time, but, but I, I have nothing but respect for him and his camp. I know you were a little upset with, with kind of the media and people underestimating you before the fight. And, and I'd spoken to you before that you were upset with the matchups they were giving you because you didn't want to have to fight behind you, and rightfully so. I understand that. Uh, do you feel like you've gotten a little bit more respect now with, with, with this win and, and going knowing that uh, for everyone knowing that you went through that adversity as well uh, to get that win? Uh, yeah, it seems like it. It seems like a lot of people are just... Uh they're surprised and, and a lot of people are like, Oh, you shouldn't have been able to walk. I don't know how you did that. Um, so yeah, I, I think so. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I was just upset and it's not even a lot of different people, but it's just like, I, I see certain things, you know, and, and then I, don't, I was just, I was frustrated with that all week leading up to it. And people that are just saying that, He's, he's too much for me. He's younger than me. He's taller than me. He's bigger than me. He's this and that, he, you know, he's just gonna, you know, and he was a huge favorite. And I was like, in the end, it, it does motivate me. And, and, and I, the only people that really know what's going to happen are myself, my team, my coaches and, and, you know, close friends and family and stuff like that. So it, it does motivate me. And, and I do like to be the underdog. Um, but I'm just like, man, when are they going to learn? Or, um, you know, I, I, I don't, I wasn't like demanding respect or anything like that. I don't know what people were saying that too. I, I didn't say anything like that. I was just, I was just frustrated mainly at the knee and then just leading up to seeing some of the stuff. And, and I know some of the journalists that they pick, they make picks who they think are going to win. I, that doesn't bother me. You know, I, I do fight predictions and stuff like that. It was just certain people that I was doing interviews with. They would do one with me, they do one with Shane, and then they would just say, oh, yeah, he's he's going to be too much for him. He's going to completely just, you know, dominate Josh. And I'm like, he's not going to dominate me. Uh, are you, like, is it, like, does it help you that you're able to draw from that past experience? Like, you were you were out for, for 13 months, and you were able to come back, and you looked great as well. You made a great comeback. Does it? Do you have any comfort in looking back at that experience and being able to draw something from that uh, moving forward? Uh, not really. I'm, uh, I, I've been an athlete and a competitor my entire life. I've wrestled, I played every sport. I've done well at anything. Um, I don't believe in ring rust and people are saying that too. Oh, he's been out for this long. He's going to, you know, be a little rusty. I know how to fight. I, I put in the time I put in the, I've wrestled for most of my life. I wrestled at the collegiate level, you know, playing every single sport I've been in, you know, uh, mixed martial arts for over a decade. I can fight. I just have to be in tip top shape. And, uh, even though during the pandemic that the training was a little different, like we talked about, but so I wasn't sure. I was like, I think I'm in great shape. I think I'm going to perform really well. But in the back of my mind, I was like, I don't know because it was so different to, uh, what I typically do. But I was saying, if I go in there and perform the way that I feel like I'm going to, this is going to be my, my new norm. And I only got the fight on a four week notice. So I really ramped it up three weeks came out to Vegas, cut the weight. So I, I think I'm, I'm really just dialing everything in now. And I, and I have some of the, I literally have the best team behind me. It's like, I, I was working with uh, a, a dietitian, a new dietitian for actually the last fight before I got injured. And, and I felt the best I ever did. And my weight was coming off. Then I got injured. I, I worked with them again. And uh, that's, it, it, it's, it's awesome. Like, 
the best I've ever felt, the easiest weight cut to date. Like the first time in my life in MMA and wrestling, I didn't use any plastics and I didn't go in a sauna all of, uh, the training camp or fight week. And, and I was eating and I, I, I felt, I felt great, you know, and that was on a four weeks. So just wait till I have an eight week camp. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to come out of this even better than I did the other day, you know, just because, but I didn't get to showcase everything because I hurt myself in the first 17 seconds, but uh, you guys will see, I still haven't even scratched the surface for you guys, uh, for the fans, you know, my, my teammates and coaches know exactly what I can do and, and, and I will be a world champion. I can uh, guarantee that. I know it might be hard to, to look forward because you're going to be out for a while, but who would have been some of like, cause there, there are some matchups that are reportedly being booked like with Yair and, and uh, Zabit and then there's Ortega and Zombie and then Kater is fighting Ige and then you've got the championship fight. Who would have you liked to fight next? Were you eyeing a, a winner of a certain matchup or, or anything like that? Yeah. And before, uh, before this fight, you know, they were talking about, I'm two, two fights away for fighting for the title. Um, I, I think after going in there and, and Burgos and I having the fight that we did, um, I've, I've been seeing a lot of things and people are like, I wouldn't be mad if Josh fought the winner of Max and Volkanovski. I would not be mad either. If, if I could choose, if you're asking me who I want, I would want the winner of that fight. Um, other than that, I, like I've always said, who's the number one contender or, or next in line between Max, you know, give me that person. I win that. I get the winner, but who, who knows, you know, with, with the, the state that we're in right now with people not having a, or being able to get visas with people being injured with people not wanting to fight. Um, I always want to fight. I always, I always say yes. Um, I, I think Volkanovski and I match up really well. I, I, I think that's, that's honestly, that would be, such an exciting fight because we're so similar in, in style and build and strength and athleticism and uh i've, I've been saying that and that's that's what i'm gunning for um so yeah if, if, if i could pick i want the winner of max and volkanovsky i was so close before you know when i was ranked fourth in the world i was so close it's been years i know i've had you know a small speed bump in the road here's another one um but I'm continuing to evolve. I can compete with the best. I'm not fighting one more person behind me. Um, <laughs> like I, I want to fight and compete with the best in the world because I feel I am the best in the world. So give me that opportunity. I want that fight. A lot of people felt like your fight with Virgos should have been a five round main event. Did you feel the same way? And would you like to log maybe one five, uh, five round fight before a championship fight? I mean, obviously if you were to get the title shot, you take it, but would have you wanted that to be a five, a five round fight? Just for the experience? No, no, not at all. Um, I, I only want to fight a five round fight for a title fight. I, I fought five round fights. I, I was a, a lightweight champion of the West Coast Fighting Championship um, on the regional scene. I, I beat UFC vets. I fought five rounds a few times. I had, like I was saying all week too, we know Burgos had a gas tank. He has an output like no other. And his gas, he can keep coming and coming. He never slows down. I was telling everyone, I will match that. You know, no one's going to outwork me. Um, and we had a high pace fight for three rounds straight. We didn't slow down at all. I felt phenomenal besides my my knee. And uh, yeah, I, I could have went, I could have went three more rounds, you know, but no, I, I, I don't want to fight a five round fight, especially at that state. We would have just it would have been entertaining for the fans, of course, but but at our cost, you know what I mean? And there could be some serious damage. Like I felt like I was really starting to find my um, just just his timing. And I was really starting to like lay things right in. Like who, who knows, you know, I dropped him twice in the third round and then I rocked him really bad in the, the third round as well. Um, if we would have went on two more rounds, it would have just possibly been like knockdown after knockdown or there would have been more injuries and um for for twelve thousand dollar twelve twelve five for the fourth and fifth round that's not worth it but for a title fight yeah sign me up well yeah i was gonna say that's kind of like me being selfish the fans being selfish just because the matchup <laughs> was so much fun uh but but not knowing that knowing that you had the knee injury i don't think we're uh it would have been too much fun to go two more rounds even though i know you would have pushed through it uh josh i'm gonna leave you the one last question and i appreciate it you had volkanovsky in the first uh fight with holloway do you think he gets a drop done again 
I, I believe so. Just like I've been saying all along, I think stylistically, it's just, it's a tough, it's a, it's a tough fight stylistically. I think it's the same outcome. Um, and, and unless Max catches him with something and can follow up and finish him. But I, I just, I, I don't, I don't see that happening, but anything can happen in MMA. You know what I mean? It's like, you guys are on your feet. It's 50, 50. Um, but, but I do see Volkanovski is a phenomenal champ. He's, He's good. He, he's the best of the best in the division right now. He holds the title, the the throne. Um, I, I really do think he's going to, you know, defend his title. And uh, it'll be the same outcome. But I wouldn't be surprised if Max won. You know, he was, uh, you know, the GOAT of the division. He's beat the best of the best. He, he was also a phenomenal champion. So I, I'm excited to see that fight, though. Absolutely. Well, Josh, I really appreciate you taking the time. Congrats again on the win. Uh, I wish you a speedy recovery and uh, keep us posted with uh, how things go. I will for sure. Thanks, Farah.